Note, make sure you are connected to the same network that your DVR will be connecting to. So, you have purchased a QC DVR and now would like to set up remote monitoring. Here are your simple steps for remote monitoring setup using your two-wire modem. Step 1. Plug in the power to the DVR and establish a video connection from the DVR to the display of your choice. Step 2. On your DVR, go to the main menu screen, select Setup, then Network, and make sure that the Obtain IP address automatically is checked. Then click Apply. Step 3. Go back to the main menu screen, click Information, then Network. There you will find the DVR's IP address and gateway. Write them down, because you will need them in the next step. Step 4. Now with the information you have written down, go to your computer and open up your browser. On the address bar, type in the gateway address that you had written down, then push enter. This will bring up your two-wire UVerse modem admin screen. Click settings, then firewall, then applications pinhole and DMZ. Step 5. Now you will need to find and choose your DVR as a network device. Now scroll down and click on user defined and, and click add a new user defined application. Step 6. Here you will need to create a name for your application. Select your protocol as TCP and put your port 80 in the, for, in the from and to boxes. Now type in 86400 for your protocol timeout and 80 again in your host port. Then click add to list. Note, at this time you will need to log into your two-wire modem with your two-wire modem password. Step 7. Once confirmation is successful, repeat and input 6036 for the ports and click Add to List. Once done, you will need to click on Back. Note, you may need to choose your DVR again. Then scroll down and click User Defined. Step 8. At this time, you will need to select the application you have created. Then click Add and select Save. Step 9. Now that the router and DVR are connected, we must check to see if the ports are working. Open your internet browser on your computer. Type in the URL canyouseeme.org. You will be checking for ports 80 and 6036. These are important for remote monitoring. Type in 80 in the port number field. Click Checked. Now scroll down and it should state Success. I can see with port number and IP address. Step 10. Now we have checked for port 80. Repeat the same steps for port 6036 that you did for port 80. Step 11. Note, make sure you are connected to the same network that your DVR will be connecting to. You will now need to find the DNS server address on your router. Go to System Preferences, select Network. In the Network Settings, select Advanced. Now select the tab entitled DNS. Now it will display your DNS server information. Copy it down. Step 12. Now on your DVR, go to the main menu screen and select Network. Now select Obtain IP Address Automatically. Enter the DNS server information copied down and reselect Obtain IP Address Automatically. Step 13. Note. Make sure you are connected to the same network that your DVR will be connecting to. Go to MyQC.com and register for a remote QC account, please enter your email address. Enter a password of your choice.
please re-enter the password of your choice in the password confirm box. Please enter your first name. Now please enter your last name. Please select a security question of your choice. Now choose the answer for the security question of your choice. Now confirm the verification code in the box below it. Click submit and it will take you to the domain creation page. Please enter a domain name of your choice, then press request domain and it will let you know if the domain is available. Keep repeating this process until you reach a name that is available. You have now completed registration for your QC remote viewing DDNS site. Now in the My Domains page, it will list all the domains registered under your account, as well as the status. All the information from MyQC.com, please save in a separate piece of paper as you will need to input it in your DVR later on. Step 14. On the DVR, go to the network menu and select Other Settings and input all the MyQC DDNS account information, such as the username, password, and domain name. Now select the test button. It should state success. Now save it and exit the screen. Step 15. To connect remotely over the internet, open Safari 5.0 or 5.1 and enter the domain name in the address bar that you had registered at myqc.com. It will now prompt you to install the web client plugin. Please click on the icon to start the download. Once downloaded, Please double click on the file entitled Web Client Plugin. PKG. You will now see the installer launch. Please, at this time, exit out of Safari. Please select Continue. Once the installer has calculated your hard drive has enough storage capacity to install. Select Continue. Now you will be asked to input your username and password for this computer to give your program permission to install, then press OK. Now it will install the web client plugin. You will be prompted by the installation is successful. Now click Close. Step 16. Now relaunch Safari and enter your address for your DVR. You will be presented with a login screen. Then type in your username and password and select Login. Congratulations, you have finished remote viewing setup for your QC QT series DVR. If you have received an error again, or at any time during the message, please open your internet browser and type in qc.com backslash support, select the ask a question tab, and choose how you wish to communicate, and a QC representative would be happy to assist you. Thank you for watching.